Uh, this is a case that we're doing for rehab. Uh, the case uh, has implants here. We have another implant here, and we have lower implants. But with the, we're discussing the anterior area now. Now, my, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is I was concerned about this morphology. Okay. Usually, the gingival outline is like an arc shape, regular arc shape. It's regular, although the zenith point is a bit distally in the central, but يعني, it's an arc with a simple tilt to the distal a bit, okay? And it's not a regular arc totally. In zenith point one, it's more distal, okay? But I'm looking at this one, and this is the reason why I'm doing this video. Do you see this very irregular morphology of the gingival margin? I have like an angle here, and this is not normal to have an angle, a single angle here. Okay, what are the reasons of this? What might be the reasons for this? Overhanging. Overhanging restoration. Maybe the overhanging was here, but I see that the restoration is here. It's not, it's away from the sole. Vertical fracture. And Maybe I think about more serious problems, like a vertical fracture or a trauma or necrosis because of some cytotoxic material leaking from inside the cow. Okay, because it's not regular to have this morphology. I'm thinking about dehiscence, problems with the bone, irregular bone problems, cracks, okay, that produce this. This is what my concern is. You have to diagnose what is the reason of this because it will affect your final morphology of the ginger. You're going to do a smile design. Yes. But if you have not discovered why this is there with this irregular shape with a sharp angle, what will happen? That you might go and treat over a lesion. There. It could be a crack, it could be uh, an uh, enamel pearl, by the way. Mm -hmm. It could be something natural. Enamel pearls that are uh, present on the surface, they will produce this. It will be resorbed in this area, like this angle shape. It could be a crack or some cytotoxic material that produced this morphology. So I would advise you, and what also was concerning for me, also the biotype thickness, the thickness of the gingiva, the thickness here, is uh, is normal and attached gingiva here is normal but the thickness here okay it's very thin mucosa see the mucosa it's very thin i don't have the thick biotype that i have here here i see the attached gingiva and the morphology but here it's very thinned out and even the color of it is irregular so here i would like you to take the advice of the periodontal department regarding what is the reason for this and how much pocketing is there because there might be a pocket inside here. You have, you don't have a periodontal uh, pocket. That, but I, I use this applicator just as a guide. Okay. I might get bring your probe, your periodontal probe, and check the pockets here. I want to check if you have any pocketing on the mesa. But my comment was about an irregular morphology of the arc of the gingival morphology okay it might be indicative of something more serious it's not regular overhanging or regular morphology problem okay it could be trauma it could be crack it could be an enamel pearl it could be something with the problems with the bone dehiscence or the uh, or uh, another problem and look at the gingival biotype is also indicating something inside the gingival okay so take your periodontal advice from the periodontal department and check